All right, Shalom Wamaka. I want to give all praise up now. Yahweh Allah Hayaka. Kodash Hayashimka. Yahweh Shamwa Baha Shama Mashak Yahusha. Brakta Yahaw, Brakta Yahusha, Brakta Yahaw, Brakta Yahusha. All praise to Abba now. Yahweh Allah Hayaka. Kodash Hayashimka. This is going to be uh, pretty much we do this video to show that uh, the brother, you know, from uh, Feed the Flock Cleveland Israelites. He did a video having a problem with us making music to Yahweh, which, you know, that's in, you know, music is in the scriptures. Let me get something real quick. I mean, there's plenty of verses. Which a lot of people don't know that, uh, you know, wisdom is double, so, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff can have a double meaning, man. They tell you in the Procopher, all things are double. So let's get some songs real quick. Yeah, because I was in Colossians. That's where I was at. Go to Colossians real quick. Fuck. Con. I was in Colossians. This is Colossians 3 and 16. Let the word. Fuck it. It's loading up. It says what? Let the word of Yahweh shall dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. All right. So here in Colossians, it's telling you, man, that we're supposed to teach and warn each other through psalms and spiritual songs. And clearly on the video, I was I was admonishing. OK, somebody. Okay, talking about uh, if you deny the Messiah, you're finished, you're done, which that's what I said in the video. You know what I'm saying? Also, I said if you slander your neighbor, you don't love Yahweh, Psalms 101 and 5, you know, tell you him that slander his neighbor, him will I cut off. All right. So Yahweh cutting it, cut a nigga off with slander, man. Preaching that is, is fun, nigga. This ain't. Oh, yeah, he was talking about it's not fun. Basically, they say that they teach that it's not fun to serve Yahweh. That's what these dudes is teaching. Because they every time a brother is uh rejoicing in Yahweh, they 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 get mad at it, man. You're like these dudes is totally uh you know bitter. Like Paul tell you about the Pharisees, you know, that whose mouth is full of bitterness and all that other foolishness. If I can get that real quick, man. I'm gonna go to that real quick and I'm gonna come back. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is, uh, you know, dude, you're going to condemn your elders for real. This is Romans 2 and 1. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges. For wherein thou judges another, thou do it, condemnest thyself. For thou that judges do is the same thing. So, like, you are, you're a body with GMS. Y'all supposed to be one with GMS. So, like, you got to do, I already did the video, you got to do from GMS Miami, throwing up Baphomet hand gestures and rapping and singing songs on camera and uploading it. And you also have uh, the one guy from GMS uh, GMS Chicago talking about the 40 will turn you into a John Doe, okay? And you got GMS the Bay Area talking about they're going to beat up the pussy and they're all on a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You're going to condemn yourself, bro, because your, 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 your camp, they're doing the same thing. A little leaven leaven is the whole lump, my lord. Right? He said, you inexcusable. So if your group doing the same thing, making music and talking about... they were well, Actually, it's not the same thing because these dudes is rapping about worldly stuff, actual worldly stuff, and you dudes don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna con you condemning yourself because you got dudes that's making... that's uh, rapping music like Jim at Chicago on beats. And uploading into you on internet, so you gonna condemn GMS at Chicago? You think you're gonna escape the judgment of Yahweh when you do the same things and you got niggas in your group doing the same thing, but you don't get on them? Let's go down here. It's like it. See, is it? It might be Romans, the first chapter. 
You know what I'm saying? Talking about whose mouth is filled with bitterness and all that. That's, that's these dudes, man. Let's talk. All right, it must be uh, Romans, the third chapter, then. Yeah. Right, it says, uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 10, as it's written, There is none righteous, no, not one. He quoted out of the book of Psalms, which this was dealing with, uh, you know, um, actual, actual fucking heathens. You know, they're not righteous. They are all gone out of the way. They are to together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulcher. With their tongues they have used deceit and the poison of ashes under their lips, whose mouth is full of, full of cursing and bitterness. You know, destruction and misery are in their ways, man. So, you know, that's talking about Esau first and foremost, but, you know, that's also dealing with, you know, Israelites that's following after this devil's spirit, taking on this devil's spirit. You know, you have, uh, you always trying to put curses on your brothers. You know, uh, death and destruction is always in your mouth. Oh, you a two-third. This nigga's a two-third. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Their feet are swift to shed blood. And that's what it is. These dudes be wanting to see their people destroyed. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Right? And that's just what it is. So let's keep it going. Back to uh, show this dude's hypocrisy. Fun, nigga. We getting just how you know you in the It's not fun to teach the word of Yahweh. These dudes is crazy. So out out the really, you you not really uh you're not really doing the work of Yahweh if it's not uh a joy to do judgment, man. It tell you in the apocrypha, if I'm not mistaken, Sirach 26, that whether man be uh poor or rich, if he have a good heart uh towards Yahweh, he shall at, at all times rejoice. So what the fuck is this nigga talking about? All right. The man of the Lord, we getting dragged in this truth, man. Yeah. You getting dragged in this truth. Sounds like you, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're uh, trying to please men, man. Like, this truth is not a uh, a burden. It tell you in, uh, you know, this is a light, a light affliction, man. You dudes get a little bit afflicted and y'all act like, you know what I'm saying? World War Three didn't popped off, man. Come on now. Cut it out, man. Okay, it tell you in uh in Matthew, Yahweh Shah said uh his yoke is easy, man. Okay, the reason is 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 like that for you dudes is because y'all brothers trust in, in, in man, man. You know what I'm saying? You making man your head and not how my shot y'all was shot. Let's keep it going. And brought low all kind of shit happening to us, man. Okay. Uh, we catch hell too over here. We're we're be we get T tormented and afflicted and all type of madness man hindered by satan and all type of nonsense bro we catching hell too man you don't know what brother's going through so let's uh you know he had a problem with the music or whatnot let's keep going So that's it on that. Let me skip him up a little bit. First for your house shot, man. Come on, man. I think he said we was trying to get a record deal too. Like, <laughs> dude, dude, I could have got a record deal in the world, man. I was about to sign the Interscope. Like, you don't even know, bro. Niggas used to do shows in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? But now we doing it for your house. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't switch up. We just doing it for your house. Brothers been doing this in, the, in, in, in even in the world, man. <clears throat> so what we not not supposed to we supposed to stop making music and using stop using a gift that Yahweh gave us because a nigga got a problem with it and is offended at it. <laughs> yeah, he went he went ballistic with the Tommy gun verse, but he wasn't talking about hitting a nigga actually with a Tommy though. He was talking about the word hit you tear you up like a Tommy gun.
Oh, nigga. <laughs> nigga said you hit a nigga with a Tommy gun. Nigga, you talking some carnal bullshit, nigga. All right? You talking some... He talking about the word to cut you up like a Tommy, Tommy gun. It tell you that the word of Yahweh is as a two-edged sword. So does that mean the word of Yahweh is carnal? Because it's being compared to a carnal sword? So let's uh show that, you know, the elders. Let's go into the elders, man. They're dealing with... This is from a GMS born again gms and depth look at the tribe of benjamin let's look out let's look at this breakdown from the elders on the tribe of benjamin also means to um utter so i'm going to keep looking. right he said the word that's elder gabar he said the word raven also means to utter right we see raven down here what it says in imitative of harsh sounds right imitative of harsh sounds and that's what the brother said he said some harsh shit though the brother said the word cut you up like a tommy gun you know what i'm saying so let's keep it going <laughs> right because at, at one like like the elder tar was saying at one time you know you had the tribe of benjamin and that's all the songs they used to make you know the majority what? he said the tribe of benjamin made songs wait a minute i thought that was a sin of the song should I say they used to make about about Babylon being destroyed they making songs about Babylon being destroyed we made a song about people trimming their ways to seek love but we off they knew that America was Babylon we know America is Babylon you know that's why the script is called Benjamin the, the name Benjamin comes from the Hebrew word Banyamyan which the word Banyamyan, the word... And I, I'm a Benjamite, all right? I'm a Benjamite, man. That's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why we, we do what we do, because man's going to stuff your howl, bro. Like, come on now. Yun means son, and Yum Yun means right, son of the right. Why? Because of the fact that the, the name that they had, basically, out of all out of all the tribes, they were really one of the tribes that... That really uh, uh, brought out like these songs and uh, uh, always uh, quoting scriptures in their songs, you know. But 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 your but your your, your student, he says we can't quote uh, scriptures in our songs and we can't rap. This is carnal. This is some carnal bullshit. That's what that's what the student of GMS is saying. Carnal shit, man. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. It's spiritual, man. We ain't out here with no guns and shit, man. So we got guns? Do we got guns, brother? Swear on, you know, you ain't gonna swear on your howl we got guns. Okay, so don't don't slander us like that. If you're not gonna swear on your howl that we got guns. All right? We don't have no guns, man. This this brother ain't got no gun, no type of weapon, bro. Our, our weapon is the spirit of Yahweh Lahayaka. Alright, because the brothers who truly in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh we believe we gonna, I'm gonna get spirit. Hey, it even said tell you in Psalms. Let me go to Psalms real quick. What what the Wad said, Dawayad. Let me get Psalms 44, man, because the brother think we carnal. <laughs> hey, they thought they you know say the Pharisees thought my brother Paul was carnal too, man. If I, I can get that verse where he talk about Paul tell you about some of some of the Pharisees think that we walk out according to the flesh. Like, come on, man. Oh yeah, Psalms 44, that's what I wanted. Suck ya. Yeah. Alright, because he's thinking literal. Which we're not speaking literally about no guns. This is Psalms chapter 44, verse uh verse five, verse four. Psalms 44, verse 4. Thou art my king, O Yahweh. Command deliverance for Jacob. Psalms 44, verse 5. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name we will tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither will my sword save me. Which, it's not a sin to have a, a sword, bro. Yahweh Shai said, uh, you don't sell your garment and get a sword. I'm not saying we, we don't have swords, but if we did have swords, we're not going off of that. And if we is going off of having a sword, show me that in the Torah, man. You know what I'm saying, little brother? You did a video on us, and you didn't really get to the point. You ain't bring out a scripture until like the nine, I don't know if it was like nine minutes in the video, eight minutes in, but you said we supposed to hit the byways, which we hit the byways, but we also, you know what I'm saying, working, got different schedules too 
to where, you know, brothers' schedules is jacked up, man. You know what I'm saying? And brothers got, got, got kids too, man. So, like, you know, brothers get out when they can. You're all willing. So let's go back to this breakdown, you know, because this guy said it's pretty much we going off Power, of this. Man. And all the brothers out there, man. Y'all niggas on some old nigga shit, man. He said we on some nigga shit. Let's go back to uh, the Zaquan, which, what the brother said, he said, pride for, all, for you making left and dead. Think it's a game. It tell you in the book of Proverbs, pride goes before destruction. You know what I'm saying? The brother said we're trying to keep the law. So, like, we're rapping about spiritual stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I said, I said, uh, Hamashiach Yahawashia is in the Torah. Huh? We're supposed to be showing Hamashiach Yahawashia is in the Torah, man. Because you got a lot of non-Messianic brothers that don't even believe in Yahawashia. And y'all dudes don't really, uh, ain't defending the gospel like that uh, against them dudes talking about, talking down on Hamashiach Yahawashia. I don't see too many brothers, you know what I'm saying? Them dudes is bugged the hell out, we know that. But, like, come on, man. You got a lot of a lot of dudes trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, call Yahweh Shah a penis god, man, and a, and a penis demon. So let's keep going. Like Judah, they'll make uh, songs and stuff like that and the gospel and all that. But they're, they're, uh, Benjamin's main uh, uh, theme back then, especially when they used to make songs, was making songs about the Most High. See, even our Elder or Ramlob is telling you Benjamin made songs to the Most High. And this is the breakdown on the tribe of Benjamin. Y'all can watch the video, GMS, an in-depth look at the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, the breakdown of the tribe of Benjamin is about making music. But these dudes say it's going off. Songs about the destruction. This little, this little brother that's trying to call himself getting at us when he won't rebuke other GMS dudes that rap. Of America, songs about Psalms, you know, different Psalms in the Bible. They used to make uh, um, um, songs about that, you know. So that was a part of the prophecy of of their name, which goes back uh, to a term that Elder Gabari likes to use a lot called nomen omen, which is a name prediction. See that nomen omen. So by uh, Benjamin being called uh, Banyamian or son of the right. You can see in the in the actions or, or at least in the song that they brought out that they were uh, close to the most high. See that? He said you can see it through the songs, man. You know, but just like all the other tribes, you know, all the tribes went off. You know, we were all close to the most high. But at one point or the other, you know, we all went off. You know? Uh -huh. So that's uh, what the name Benjamin means. You know? And then when it says that they shall raven like a wolf. Meaning they're going to get together like in packs and they're going to be uh, chanting songs. Wait a minute. He said they shall raven out of wolf. He said they're going to get together in packs and chant songs. Is not that what we doing? Huh? Getting together in packs, chanting songs. This shit, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? That is, is that not what we doing right here, gathered in a pack? You know what I'm saying? Come on. Just like the Zaquan said. Against America, which is known as Babylon the Great. Close to the Most High. You know, but just like all the other tribes, you know, all the tribes went off. You know, we were all close to the Most High. But at one point or the other, you know, we all went off. You know? So that's uh, what the name Benjamin means. You know, and then when it says that they shall raven like a wolf, meaning they're going to get together like in packs and they're going to be uh, chanting songs against America, which is known as Babylon the Great. That's why you always see like even in that movie, um, uh, Mark for Death, you know, when you had when uh, uh, Steven Seagal went to go see uh, Screwface and then Screwface was disappearing through the corridors and in the background on the wall. There was like some graffiti written up there, some cheesy graffiti, but it says it said Babylon gone fall. You know, in other words, Babylon is gonna fall. You know why? Because they always that that's one of their ma major models. So that's that's um being that that's one of their major models. That's uh, what's uh, um, what they uh, uh, saying 
as they were raving in his roots, uh, true to the prophecy that was written of them, you know, in the uh, book of Genesis, the 49th chapter. Because you have to remember that, that the things that were written in Genesis, the 49th chapter, they weren't written about uh, um, during the time when they took, when uh, Israel took over the land of Canaan. From the Can Con, because I tell you in Genesis, the 49th chapter, the first verse, he said what will happen in the latter days. So I tell you in the latter days, Benjamin will raven as wolves. Meaning they're going to rap about and sing and, and make music about the destruction of Babylon and, 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 and things pertaining to Yasha Allah. Canaanites. The elder is clearly telling you that. didn't happen back then. These were future prophecies that even even uh, um, the, the tribes, when, when, uh, um, when uh, Jacob was speaking to the tribes, they didn't understand what he meant by those things. Because he was speaking in the spirit. Right, he was speaking in the spirit about future prophecies that were going to take part, uh, uh, part in this time. Yeah. Yeah, I just remembered, um, I think it was back in the 70s, you had this group named uh, Steel Pulse. And uh, Steel Pulse, uh, they're, 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 you know, Benjamin, you know, they come out of the tribe of Benjamin. They had a song called Ravers, all right? And um, if you listen to the song, it talks about ravening, you know? Um, getting into the spirit of, uh, you know, uh, utterance and partying and all of that. And uh, that coincides with uh, Genesis 49 27. Right? See that, man? And that's like a, a saying down there in the island. So you go, you, you getting on us for making music and raving and as a wolf like to tell you in Genesis 49, you're going against the whole tribe of Benjamin breakdown, bro. Ravening, you know, so all ties in, you know. And it's not because they read in the scriptures about Benjamin shall raven as a wolf, it's spiritual. And See that? He said it ain't even because they read the scripture, it's because it's in their spirit, bruh. If you look at some of the products that they make down there, it's their name Benjamin. Some of the products that they use, it's a common name down there, just like among Ephraim. You have all right, so that's it on that, man. I'll praise up and all your holla. I'm gonna go back a little bit, let them say a little bit more. Even even uh, um, the, the tribes, when when, uh, um, when uh, Jacob was speaking to the tribes, they didn't understand what he meant by those things. Because he was speaking in the spirit. Omen Omen, which is a name prediction. So by uh, Benjamin being called uh, Banyamian, or son of the right, you can see in the, in the actions, or, or at least in the songs that they brought out, that they were uh, close to the Most High. You know, but See that he said but songs, young, young, bro. That's all the songs they used to make. See that know? songs. To have a ravenous appetite, to seize as spoil or prey, to devour voraciously, raping, robbery, plunder or prey. Um, pretty much the same thing. Now we know it, it also means to um, utter. So I'm going to keep looking. Yeah, the word raven mean to utter. <laughs> Hard sounds, like my brother said about the Tommy gun. That word cut right, your ass up like a Tommy. One, like, like the elder child was saying, at one time, you know, you had the tribe of Benjamin, and that's all the songs they used to make. You know, the majority of the songs, should I say, they used to make about about Babylon being destroyed and falling down. They knew that America was Babylon. So that's it on that, man. So, bruh, the elders, the elders is, is showing you that the tribe of Benjamin would, would make music, bruh. So all praise to the Heavenly Father, man. Now, hopefully, you know, you can sit, wake up and see it. But if not, hey, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Kahala, Yahawah, Lahaka, Kodasha, Yashim, Kah, Yahushawah, Ba, Shama, Mashiach, Yahushah.